New at 11, tackling school safety in Virginia Beach. Tonight, division leaders held a town hall for parents and teachers to discuss different ways to improve security. It comes as schools across the area deal with an increase in threats. Sarah Hammond joins me live in the studio with what some parents in the area hope to see. Sarah? Well, Superintendent Dr. Aaron Spence says based on an internal survey they did, 90% of Virginia Beach students and staff feel safe going to school, but some parents and teachers say there's still some work to do. Recently, for parents like Stephanie Baker, sending her children to school has felt daunting. I get a hug every morning. I say, give me a hug because you never know what will happen. Baker has three children in the Virginia Beach School Division. She recalls an incident a few months ago where a student via Snapchat threatened to bring a gun to school and start shooting. And the kid is returning to school the next day. And as a parent, how do you not hold your breath? How do you not say you need to do more. During a Zoom webinar Wednesday night, Virginia Beach School Division leaders and members of the Virginia Beach Police Department answered questions from parents. One school leader noted that all threats made by students are thoroughly vetted. And as part of that threat assessment process, we may conduct a mental health assessment. Division leaders also assured parents they are always ready to go on lockdown if needed and teachers are trained to run, hide and protect. Uh, we really have maintained a focus on if you hear something, say something. Baker and school division leaders also stress the importance of school resource officers. Baker says she wants to see more of them. I really do think putting security back into the schools is what's going to help change things. Baker says she's all for metal detectors as well. Chief Operations Officer Jack Freeman says they are always evaluating potential improvements, but one Virginia Beach mother and teacher isn't sure how she feels about them. I mean, for me, it'd be like, all right, it's a metal detector, whatever. But I don't know how that would translate to the children. That mother and teacher who did not want to be named says at the end of the day, parents need to do their part. We have to find a way to hold students, to teach them to be accountable for their actions. Both women say it boils down to discipline and communication, something that the division says they are always striving for. Back to you.